Hi, Dr. Bridget here with another prescription for success. For those of you that don't know, I've got a, a close Facebook group called One Step Closer, and we do a poll in there about what are people's biggest challenges. And at least 50% of the people that um, filled the poll in said self belief is their challenge. So I thought I'd do a little quick video on this for everyone else, and I'll be writing an ebook as well on self belief and how to improve it. So it's really, really important because if you don't believe in yourself, then you're not going to get what you want. You're going to feel uncomfortable. You're going to have anxiety, fear, a bit of sadness, maybe a bit of guilt that you haven't taken any action. And you're going to actually project that lack of self-belief. So people aren't going to believe in you as much and life generally won't be as good as it could be. So I've got four tips for you. So. The first one is just to think about your upbringing. So did your upbringing actually encourage self-belief? Did you have parents and teachers that really encouraged you and brought you on? Or did, didn't you? And um, whatever's happened in the past, you can just say, well, here I am now and this is what I'm going to do in the future. So I'm going to believe in myself. So just get rid of that past stuff. And if you have a problem doing that, then just get in touch with me because that's my speciality. Then develop some resilience. So when things happen, just re realize that you're actually in charge. Realize that you can start over, you can change your direction, you can get support. And perhaps do a little bit of reframing about, oh, I'm a failure, I'm not worth anything, I'm not good enough. Reframe that and say, well, quite a lot of the time, I am good enough. It's when it's all going wrong, it's not all going wrong. You're just noticing the things that are going wrong and that can be changed. But the rest of your life might be actually pretty good. Um, then, you know, start some journaling. So tip number three, start some journaling. Write down about your challenges, write your actions, write things that you're grateful for. And just give yourself a bit of a, a, bit of a um, pat on the back and reward yourself for the things that are going right. And the fourth one is to get some positive people around you. So if you've got positive people that actually support you, that you support as well, and they're there for you no matter what happens, there's no judgment, then that will vastly increase your self-belief. So those are the four tips. So stick the past away, get rid of it, or get some help if you can't. Become resilient, reframe things. So if you're saying things in your head, just think, well, is that actually true? Let's think of a different interpretation of it. Do some journaling and then get some positive people around you. And I'm going to be writing, as I said before, a book about self-belief and how to increase your self-belief. And at the moment, as it stands filming this video, I've also got an e-book on creating your story, how you did that and how to create a different one and also on resilience and they're quite low cost um, ebooks so I'll put a link to those there and you can perhaps start to have a little look at those. So have a think about joining my Facebook group as well because there's lots of sports and ideas and Facebook lives going on in there and it's called One Step Closer because you're on a journey to sort of cross to where you want to get. And if you want to be one step closer and you're not getting there, then just give me a shout because I do a free session and you can book that. I'll give you the link for that. So believe in yourself because I believe in you. And I really think it's important that you believe in yourself as well. And I shall see you next week. Bye.